All right, so now we're on to a shorter concept test here, so this shouldn't take quite as long. We've got an object that hangs motionless from a spring, so it, we're, it's just hanging there. It's at its, we call that its equilibrium point because the force of gravity and the force of the spring are equal there. We now take the object and pull it down and hold it. And the question is, does the sum of the potential energy of the spring and the gravitational potential energy of the object earth spring system increase, decrease, or stay the same? All right, well, there's a couple of things that need to go into this. Now, what most people think is they say, well, you know, it's starting here. I pull it down. What does that mean about the gravitational potential energy? Well, the gravitational potential energy obviously has to go down as it goes down. Now, what about the elastic potential energy? Well, the spring is gonna be stretched more than it was before. So the elastic potential energy needs to go up. So, oh my goodness, does that mean they're gonna cancel out or something else? Well, let's dig in a little bit deeper, okay? Now, there is an easy way to answer this, but let's go ahead and look at the equations first. Remember, gravitational potential energy depends on mgh. So as I move it down, I'm moving it down a certain distance. That's going to change this value. It's a linear relationship with the gravitational potential energy. What about the elastic potential energy? That depends on 1 half kx squared. Now look at this one. This one, whatever distance I increase it by, that's going to be part of this squared function, which means that the elastic potential energy has a much larger relationship in terms of the distance. It's going to be quadratic. It's going to be squared. So that means that the change in the elastic potential must be larger than the change in the... So therefore, the total energy, the total sum, which is what it's asking, the gravitational plus the elastic potential, must increase. All right? Now, there is one other way to do it. How did the block get from here down there? You had to pull on it, right? You exerted a downward force on it over a certain distance. And what do you get when you multiply force times distance? You get work, which means that you actually did work on the block. Now, if you did work on the block, you caused it to gain energy. So without looking at those energies individually, we already know that you added energy into the system. You caused the potential energy to increase. Just think about it. If you were to release it, it would shoot upwards. And when it got to the same point that it was at before, it would have the same gravitational as before, the same elastic potential, but it would also have kinetic energy now, which means that when you pull it down, you do work on it, causing the total energy to increase. All right, there you go. Moving on.